Hey guys, welcome back. I am beyond excited to bring you guys this tutorial today because it is super 90s inspired. If I could have worn makeup in the 90s, this is totally the look I would have worn 24 seven. It is so simple, I promise you guys, you will be able to recreate this without a problem. And if you don't want it to look super 90s, you can just ditch the hair and the choker. <laughs> I promise it probably won't look as 90s without it. This is my favorite look I think I have ever created. It's just so simple yet is a statement piece on its own. I absolutely love it. And yeah, if you guys are interested and want to see how I create this look, keep on watching. All right, I'm going to start off by prepping my skin with my Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner just to clean off any dirt before going in with makeup. And then I'm going to be using my Pure Cosmetics Hydrogel Lift Eye Cream to hydrate the eye area. And then I'm going to pat it in with my fingertips. Always use the ring finger so you are light and gentle in the eye area. And then for a moisturizer, I'm using my Carez Wild Rose 24 Hour Moisturizer. I recently started using this moisturizer and really love it. It keeps my skin hydrated all day long. And then before going in with any any sort of base I'm gonna be using my Tarte clean slate primer on any blemishes to really smooth them out because as you can see my skin again decided to freak out and break out on me so it's important that I smooth those out for foundation I'm using my Laura Mercier candlelight foundation and oh my god you guys I don't know why it took me so long to use this foundation I absolutely love it it has such a nice clean finish light to medium coverage really seamless and it just looks so beautiful on the skin this is the after just Look at it, so nice. <laughs> and then for concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Under Eye Secret Concealer. I'm only gonna be applying it underneath my eyes to highlight and conceal any under eye darkness, but I'm not going to be highlighting or contouring for this look. I decided to bust out my RCMA foundation concealer palette to cover up any of the blemishes and imperfections on the rest of my skin because the under eye concealer is too light to cover any of that. And if you guys are interested in this palette, I would say that for personal use, I think it's a little much. Nobody, I think, needs this many different shades of concealer or foundation. But if you are a freelance makeup artist, I highly recommend it because it is a great formula and you can use it as either a foundation or concealer, which is really, really great. So now I'm going to go ahead and set everything with a translucent powder, especially the areas that have any blemishes to make sure that the concealer does not budge or disappear throughout the day. And next I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm using a matte bronzer. This is Bahama Mama by The Bomb. And I'm going to be applying it to the general areas that I normally apply bronzer, but I am also going to be applying it to the bridge of my nose because I am going to be adding some faux freckles later on and it looks really natural and realistic when you add bronzer to the bridge of the nose before going in with faux freckles. So next I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to be priming them using Air Patrol by Benefit. This has a slight yellow tone to it so it's going to help to correct any discoloration on the eyelids. And the first and pretty much only eyeshadow I'm going to be using is Brownie Points by Makeup Geek. I'm going to be packing this onto the lid and also blending it up to the crease. Also applying it to the lower lash line and depending on how dramatic you want this look to be you can either darken up the eyeshadow by adding more or blending it out more and using less. It's really up to you. I decided to go somewhere in the mid range. I didn't want it to be too dark and smoky and I also didn't want it to be too light. So after blending this is the final result that I got. The only other eyeshadow I'm going to be using is Americano, also by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use this eyeshadow as sort of an eyeliner. I'm going to be using that same IT Cosmetics brush, but the side with the smudger on it, to apply it really close to the upper and lower lash line, mainly focusing it on the outer V. And then I'm using the other side of the brush to blend it out, smoke it out. It's going to add a lot of extra dimension and definition to the eyes versus just having that other eyeshadow alone, which I will again show you guys what it looks like with and without the eyeliner. So just this is like a little trick of mine that I like to do if ever an eyeshadow look of mine is looking pretty bland. Moving on to the brows next, I'm going to start by filling them in with Gimme Brow in shade number 3 by Benefit. This makes them look fuller and I end up using less product afterwards versus filling them in with a pencil and getting heavy handed with it, which is what I tend to normally do. So I've been loving this natural effect that Gimme Brow gives my brows. So now I'm just going to go in with precisely my brow to add just a tiny bit more to the ends and inner part of my brows. This isn't very 90s of me, I know in the 90s it was much more of a thinner brow, but... 
let's be real i'm not gonna pluck my eyebrows or make them thinner i'm gonna make them fuller because that's just what i do <laughs> and finally i'm gonna finish off the eyes by coating my lashes in better than sex mascara by Too faced because i'm not gonna be adding any falsies so i want a mascara that's gonna add a lot of drama volume and length to my lashes oh and if this ever happens to you guys and you get mascara on your eyeshadow don't worry, I have a video on that, so make sure to click there if you are interested in learning how to remove mascara from your freshly applied eyeshadow. And so now I'm going in with Tightline Mascara on my lower lashes because Better Than Sex Mascara tends to transfer like crazy underneath my eyes because my lower lashes are extremely long, whereas with this mascara, it doesn't do it as much. And then I almost forgot this one step, one very important step. I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Cream Highlighter in the shade Spotlight to highlight, which is also not very 90s, but again, I'm not gonna skip highlighting just for the purpose of it being 90s and I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this product and I will say that it is beautiful oh yeah and you guys know it's not a Melissa tutorial without highlighter or any kind of makeup in the hair always happens to me but anyway this highlighter is beautiful there's no doubt about that the only problem you encounter is that the more you layer this product the more patchy it gets and it also didn't help that I applied this after powder, which I normally don't do. So just be aware of that when using this product if you guys do decide to go out and get it. So next up is the really fun part of this look. I'm going to be creating some faux freckles using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Light. And two different eyeliner brushes. I'm starting off with the bigger one first. I'm going to use this to create a base of larger freckles starting at the bridge of the nose and then slowly dispersing them out towards the sides of the cheeks but you want the most amount of freckles to be concentrated on the bridge of the nose i think that looks really natural whenever you look at someone that has freckles they usually have the most right at the bridge of their nose which is why i applied the bronzer there first and to make them look a little more natural i'm going to take my damp beauty blender the same one i was using earlier and just press the freckles that I've created into the skin to give them a much more natural appearance. If not, it looks like someone sprinkled mud on your face. It's just really obvious that you created faux freckles. So doing that with the Beauty Blender makes them look a little more natural. So I'm just going ahead and adding some more larger freckles and then I'm gonna grab the smaller brush and add some tinier ones just to add a variation of large and small freckles because freckles aren't all the same size. It wouldn't be a 90s look without a brown lip, so I'm going to start off by outlining my lips first with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Nighthawk, and then I'm going to fill them in using the Tartise Liquid Lipstick in the shade Grunge. To set everything in place, I'm going to be using Spackle Mist by Laura Geller, and I have yet to wear my makeup all day long after setting with this spray, so I will have a full review on it later for you guys. And one final step I almost forgot, I'm going to be using that same Marc Jacobs highlighter to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. All right, guys, that completes this look. Please do me a huge favor and comment down below what it is that you were doing during the 90s just because I think it'd be really fun to read through all the comments, especially if you were team NSYNC or team Backstreet Boys because let's be real, we were all team Spice Girls or at least I hope we were all team Spice Girls because I know I was and sadly I was also team Backstreet Boys and I look back on it now and I should have been team NSYNC but life will go on. <laughs> so definitely comment down below, it'll be really fun. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys.